What's up guys, today I will be showing you how to create this easy modeling animation, so without waiting, let's get straight into the modeling. Let's open a new file and delete the default cube, so we'll just press X and delete, and press Shift A and we'll add in a plane. I'm not going to focus on creating an elaborate bowling alley or anything like that because the focus is mainly on the animation. So let's just scale this in the Y pressing S and then Y. And I think that's about fine. Press Ctrl A and we will apply the scale. After applying the scale we're just going to add some physics properties to the plane so that it will act as a floor. I'm just going to come into the physics properties here and activate rigid body. And we'll just make that a passive rigid body and that will be fine. And now we can start modeling the pins and the bowling ball. So for the bowling ball we're going to press Shift A and add in a UV sphere. Press G and then Z. We'll just move that up, scale it down slightly. Press right click, shade smooth. And then we'll move that back for now. Up until about there. And we'll scale that now and just move it in position and everything. Let's just add a cylinder in for the bowling pins. Press A, Shift A, and then add a cylinder. Scale it down using Shift Z actually, and then you can scale it in there just to get a rough estimate. We're going to edit this as well just now to get the right shape, so we can just put this back here. That's a little too far. Move it in the Y, and we can leave it there and start mod modeling this a bit more detailed. Let's do the bowling pin first, and we can just select it and press Ctrl A, apply the scale. Right click and shade smooth, come into the vert object data properties and we can just go to the normals, auto smooth, tab into edit mode and we'll go to for edge select. And select this edge, we'll just scale this down a bit. And then we'll put a loop cut in here to make that bowl. I think that's fine. Put a loop cut in here, scale it down one in here, scale it down but not as much, and then we can scale this down quite a bit more, put this about here, you can actually move this up a little bit, I'm pressing double G to move it up along the, it, all the edges, scale this in, and I think that's going to look nice. Now we just need to bevel. So we'll press Ctrl B. We'll do them individually because they have different bevel offsets. Let's do this one. Ctrl B and we'll bevel it. Do the same for this one. And the same for the top one. And the same for the bottom one. The bottom one, however, just a little bit. And then we can actually put on, with Control 2, we'll put on a subdivision surface modifier and it will be nice and smooth. You can put that straight onto the lane or the plane that you put in earlier. And when the bowling ball is coming this way, we don't want this to fall off the plane and into oblivion. So we're just going to select the plane, put a loop cut in here, and we'll select these edges. Press E to extrude and then Alt S. To scale that up and we'll just press S and then scale it in the X, one for vert select and we'll just press G in the Y and we'll move this forward. And now when the bowling ball comes the pins will actually not fall off and they will stay on this plane, that's a little bit of cover. And we'll duplicate this once we've enabled the physics properties, once we've started with the animation. So we can move over to the bowling ball now and press full stop on the numpad and we'll be centered on this object. Press right click shade smooth, just come to the back here. Three for face select and we'll se select three faces like this with shift. E to extrude and it's going to extrude in its normal. And then pressing control R we'll just put in loop cuts here. Just to make those holes a bit more solid 
and then as you can see it's squares at the moment now because we don't have a subdivision surface modifier on there yet so we'll just press ctrl 2 and that will fix that problem for us and now we have a nice bowling ball that we can also animate so let's go to the next section which is animation The animation part is actually really easy, but before we start with that, let's just rename our object. So we're going to go in here and rename the sphere to bowling ball. And we'll rename the cylinder to pins or pin. And then we'll just rename the plane to floor. And then let's just zoom in on the pins object here. Make sure it's nice and on the plane. And we'll just go into the physics properties here. And we'll add a rigid body physics um, simulation. And then we'll just press Control A and apply the scale. Shade it smooth as we have also before. Just to make sure that everything is applied. And we'll just press play and we see that it is actually standing on the plane. So that is exactly what we want. So now we're just going to use shift D and duplicate it into the classic triangle. And I have the pins in a triangle here now. As you can see, I have a bit of space between them. That is because if they're too close, you'll see that they will go everywhere. But if I press space now, you'll see that they're standing still with the simulation on. And that is exactly what we need. So let's go to the bowling ball now. Just move it down a little bit, G and then Z, and we can move it in the Z axis to about there. Go in here, add a rigid body, and we will just increase the mass to about 5 kilograms. We'll make this animated for now, and we'll just hide the location here. Go to about 5 frames, G in the Y, G in the Z just a little bit, and we'll just eye the location there again. just scale this down a bit actually because as you can see it's a bit large for the pins and we'll just press ctrl a and apply the scale now you can see it moves in that trajectory what we want to do is at three frames we want to put a keyframe on animated and then on four frames we want to take that keyframe off let's see what that does and there you can see it does exactly what we want albeit slightly fast we can just move this up a little bit press spacebar now and that is more like it now we can go into the camera and we can start working on that and i'll just go into the menu here go into view lock camera to view and now we can use the basic movement controls to move the camera around and I'm just going to position it for the start about here. We want to capture that initial throw. So at about 20 frames, we're going to put a keyframe on the camera's location here. You can actually come out of camera view for this because what we're going to do, make the camera the active object, and then we're going to put a track a object constraint and then we're going to track to and we'll put it on the sphere or the bowling ball and you'll see whatever happens it will always stay on the bowling ball and we can actually even put depth of field if we go in here we can go to depth of field put it on and we can put that on the bowling ball as well And then let's see when does the bowling ball actually hit. We can make this up until about 80 frames, or well, let's say about 70 frames. And then we can just move the camera forwards and off to the side. Press I, location. And now we can go into the camera view we can just see what happens and there we see it working quite nice let's take it to about here 
and that looks quite nice. So if we move this to about 10 frames now, move this to 10 frames and then we can change this to 80 frames and let's see what we have. And that is exactly what we need. We're not going to make this look like a bowling alley now. We're just going to put elementary textures onto the pins, the bowling ball and onto the plane. So for the texturing we're only going to use Blender Kit and most textures on Blender Kit is actually free to use. It's quite easy to install, there's quite a lot of tutorials and you can go have a look and once you have it installed you can just click on find materials and this little eye will showcase all the materials available and then there's a search bar as well. So for the plane and the floor we're just going to say wood and we'll click on the plane, tab, select all, three for face select and smart UV project the faces and then we'll just select the wood that's going to look nice as an alley or as a lane and I think this is perfect we can actually make this the UV editor and we can just tab select all and we can scale down we can actually scale up these faces so that the wood looks a bit better and I think that is fine there now we have our floor for our pins going to actually select one pin we might need to delete all the others and stack them again which is fine just select this one isolate it tab into edit mode three for face select let's just enable x-ray mode we'll select the middle faces here you can actually just use shift and alt select all of those We'll create two slots here and we'll assign this to the second slot. And we'll go into Blender Kit here, we'll search paint. And there we have it on now. We can actually just copy this material for slot one. So we'll select it for slot one. And once that's loaded, we can just copy this material and we'll go to the base color and make sure that this is actually white. Can leave it a little bit cream just for a bit of realism and I think that looks perfect it's actually oil painting but it's gonna look nice as the pins and then we can go to the bowling balls now for the bowling balls we'll also just press tab select all and smart UV project the faces and then once we've done that we can come into the materials here we're gonna take away all the suggestions and then there should be a material in the, in the default materials that's, that's going to be perfect for the bowling ball and just scrolling through the basically the recommended materials I found these two I think I'm going to use the green one for the bowling ball and that is going to look quite nice and that is basically our scene textured and now we can recreate our triangle that we had earlier and there we have our triangle we have our bowling ball now textured and we also have our lane textured so what we want to do now is we want to put in the lighting so we can actually render this out so for the lighting we're just going to delete the default light and we will just actually add an area light we'll move this G in the Z axis scale in the Y and then we'll scale it a little bit in the X go into the light properties here we'll just make this about let's say 300 watts I'm gonna go into the world view here and I have the add-on called easy HDRI so I'm going to use that to create world nodes and add my HDRI in that way you can obviously use the way you like and I've got the Kaylee interior from polygon that's the HDRI I've got set up now uh, open source HDRI from Polyhaven all of their HDRIs or most of them are free to use and uh, then we're just going to change some render settings we're going to go in here we're going to go to cycles and we'll just change the number of samples to about let's say 128 and because this is an animation if we are going to render it like this it's going to take quite a long time so we'll just make the time limit here about 20 seconds and there you guys can see the final result and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and if you did leave a like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more content like this.